Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Beware missing the benefits of the evening And beware the evening And as we know Ramadan is coming to a close this holy month we're down to perhaps more than halfway two-thirds of Ramadan almost the last ten nights which is coming up in the next few days bi-idhnillah ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to live to see that time and gain the benefit of that time the ajr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the reason I say Beware missing this time because the benefits of it are alim. They're incredibly great, magnificent, and something you only have this last chance during this Ramadan to catch. Meaning that this part of your life has ended. Whatever you did yesterday has ended. You've moved on to a new chapter. Hopefully with goodness, hopefully having benefited, but if not, you still have a chance. And so, by standing in the night prayer, the uh, Qiyam al-Layl, in the Jama'ah if possible, as much as you're able to do so, then this has immense reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A reward that we cannot even account for right now in this dunya. But we can rest assured that in the hereafter, you will receive your just reward from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as I've already mentioned, we've reached the last portion of Ramadan, the last part of this blessed month. And when it comes to the last 10 days, you do not want to miss this great opportunity. This opportunity to come back to Allah. And this is something that I advise you, first and foremost, I advise myself and you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gain the benefit from the last portion of Ramadan. And I advise myself and you as well to strive to make some itikaf. If you cannot make the whole 10 days, make a day. If you cannot make a day, make one night. Do whatever you can to strive to be in the masjid for Laylatul Qadr. Praying, supplicating, coming back to Allah, begging Him, begging for His forgiveness, begging for His blessings and his reward and begging to see him in the hereafter. This is what the believer should be doing. And this I advise myself with and you as well. Because you will not be able to count the blessings and the reward and you will not be able to make up for the sorrow you will feel for missing that reward if you're from Ahl Iman, if you're a person of Iman, meaning that you're striving to complete your Iman, striving to do better, not just that you're a Muslim, but that you are striving to do better as a Muslim, to be better, to come closer to Allah, then you will feel sorrow and blame if you miss this opportunity. So that's what I advise myself and you as well. And in this regard, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said regarding Laylatul Qadr An Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha Anna Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam aqal Taharru Laylatul Qadri Fil Witri 
min ashr al awakhir min ramadan the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said strive to find the night of power laylatul qadr during the odd nights from the last 10 nights of ramadan that illustrates for us that when we can find the laylatul qadr it also illustrates for us that it's important that we strive to find Laylatul Qadr because the Prophet Sallallahu ordered us to do so. And when he Sallallahu Rabbi Wasallam orders us to do something, it's evidence that that thing is first and foremost that it's an obligation. Unless other evidence comes to show that it is, uh, that it is taken from being an obligation to being something recommended, mustahab or other than that from the other ahkam. So, therefore, from this hadith, we know that either it's an obligation or it's something immensely beneficial for us. And of course, the second opinion or the second uh, statement is, is the one that's correct. It's not an obligation that you strive to get Laylatul Qadr, meaning you won't have a sin, but you, you will feel sorrow if you are striving to improve yourself and be a better mu'min. So it is highly recommended that you strive to catch that night. Because who doesn't want forgiveness? Who doesn't need forgiveness? Who does not need their uh, dua, their supplications answered by Rabbil Alameen? Who does not want their prayer to be accepted? and to bring them closer to Allah. I don't think any of us would answer that that is us or that we know someone from amongst the Muslims who would, who would answer that they don't want their supplication accepted. They don't want Allah's mercy. That they don't want uh, benefit in this life as well as the hereafter. I don't think we can find a, a mu'min or a Muslim who would, who would agree and, and say uh, agree to that proposition, so to speak, or that, that claim, or to agree that they do not want the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they do not want to be raised up with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. So rather, we have to strive to do our best and to catch this. The other point I wanted to make in the beginning, I said, be careful not to miss the night and be careful of the night. So the second point, being cautious of the evening, meaning that do not let your fast end when you break your fast. What do I mean by that? That your good deeds and the things you're striving to do, do not, and this is something many of us have done, many of us do, and we have to strive to stop it. So I'm advising myself and advising you to try to let your fasting continue. Not that you restrain from eating and drinking and those things which are lawful, having relations if you're married, but rather that you do not break your fast and you run to the television and begin to watch all the soap operas or all the musilsila, the soap operas, and it doesn't matter what language is it, if it's, or watch the Indian movies or whatever it is that you do. Or worse than that, that you use that time for pure ma'asiyatillah, to do pure disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by engaging in backbiting, by committing zina, by engaging in uh, drugs and alcohol, by looking at pornography, by looking and, and listening to the muharramat. Don't do that, especially Ramadan. All the time, you should never do that, but especially during Ramadan. Do not miss the reward and the blessing of Ramadan, and that's advice to myself first and foremost, and to you, and may Allah bless us to take this to heart, and bless us to practice this, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.